Carrollton. We're here in the O'Reilly Family Event Center. The number 15 Drury Panthers are getting ready to take on University of Missouri St. Louis. I'm here with assistant coach Brandon Kimbrew. Coach, tonight's your first conference game. Many call it the first game of the real season. Does the mindset change at all coming into this game? Well, yeah, I mean, it, it's conference and, and conference game. There's a different buzz about it. Um, you know, our, our conference is very, very competitive and night in and night out. So, you know, it's a it's a big game for us. Umsel is a balanced team from top to bottom. Where do you find a weakness to exploit? You know, yeah, they're a really disciplined team. And I mean, they got they got a lot of guys that can score the basketball and they're, they're a well put together disciplined basketball team. So, I mean, you know, we got to get down and we got to guard. We got to do our defensive principles and then we got to come down on offense and, 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 and play with pace and move the basketball and do do what we do. What we do. Thanks, coach. Thanks. Now over to Bobby Heron at the highlights. Missouri St. Louis in town for the 2016-17 Great Lakes Valley Conference opener. Drury up to number 15 in the polls this week, sitting at 5-0 on the season. John Williams out to the quick start for Drury. The young ones got hops. Flush. Drury firing on all cylinders to open the game as Williams is good from three. He couldn't have hit that shot a year ago. Worked on it all summer. Panthers throw out aggressive on a 13-0 run. It didn't last. Tritons pull back within five, make it three, as Joe Henderson keeps the 14-4 Umzel run going. Dury gets a little bit of separation late for a 44-39 halftime leave. Second half now, Dury led by as many as 12. Tritons have it down to two with eight minutes left, and little Kobe Wands, the freshman, buries it from deep to give Umzel a 59-58 lead. Dury needing momentum to swing back. Tevin Foster, no, but Allen Hyen with the grown man rebound. Puts DU back up one. Jump ahead under three remaining. Umzel ahead 63-62. It's Wands again, 66-62, and Drury in some trouble. Panthers needing a big shot. Who's it going to be? Isaac Johnson might be a freshman, but no fear. Pulls D within one, 66-65, 207 to go. Back on the other end, DJ White hard to the rack. He's fouled. White converts both, 68-67, Umzel as the second free throw rolls in. This game was decided at the free throw line late. Tevin Foster came up huge. Four out of four on late game free throws, including this one here, to make it a 69-68 Drury lead. Umzel with one last shot. Elijah Watson length of the court. He attacks but is stripped. White rebounds it but doesn't have the angle. And Drury escapes 69-68 to improve to 6-0 on the season. Foster critical down the stretch but not pleased with his team's performance. What does this game mean for a team, a young team like yours? I mean, it's a learning experience. It was eye-opener. I mean, we didn't, we didn't practice too. Uh, we had two practices last week or this past week and we didn't practice good and it showed on the court. Well, I mean, I think your season is is predicated on, uh, you know, what you do in games decided by five points or less, and and uh, you know, previous squads here at uh, at Drury have, have been um, very successful in, in close games, and and uh, you know, but but it shows you, um, you know, that you can you can win them because we're going to be in some more of them, and you know, if those go in your direction, that 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 really helps your confidence and and also helps your record. Thanks, coach.